The men virtually all wear cowboy boots every day and cowboy hats too. And they drive pickup trucks and, and have a dog and they usually have a rifle or a shotgun in the back of the hanging where you can see it in the window. <laughs> and, and even the bankers in this part, they'll wear a dark blue dark suit and tie, but they'll have cowboy boots and a cowboy hat. Uh, and um, cowboy movies are very popular and, and cowboy, we call them westerns, we don't call them cowboy. Western movies and um, Western novels are very, very popular. There are, and I read them quite frequently. Uh, there are some famous authors called Louis L'Amour, who has probably published more books than anybody in America. He wrote maybe 120 or 130 books. And I think about a fourth or a third of them had been made into movies, too. And there's another one called Zane Gray, very popular. Max Brand is very popular. Um, and these are tremendous writers. Um, you know, the, they tend to be like thrillers or, de or detective stories, but the setting is in the West. Um, so, so they're very entertaining. There's a whole culture that goes up. The, the cowboys were almost like like the uh, shining knights of armor in the, in the days of the chivalry. One, uh, one second, please. Кто понимает shining uh, knights of armor? Knights in shining armor. Knight in shining armor. Кто понял фразу? Я в этих блестящих облаках, да. Я на промолчала. So they, yeah, they're, they aren't supposed to ever lie. And they they're supposed to be very kind to women, treat women very kind. This is in the story. It wasn't true in the real West, but <laughs> but, it, but it's romanticized, and, and it's very, very, it's very, very interesting. Uh, and even even in um, in cities like New York or Los Angeles or, or San Francisco, very sophisticated cities, you will frequently see people wearing cowboy boots. So, uh, so it's, it's it's very interesting. It's very very important part of our culture. If you don't if you don't thoroughly understand the, the Western culture, you're going to miss a lot of metaphors and, and idioms and sayings in, in American English because it's just full of them. You know, and I'm gonna I'm gonna rope that critter. That means I'm gonna solve that problem. I mean, rope that critter. The critter is the horse, literally. But uh, we're getting, the language is full of these Western idioms. Mm -hmm.